Hi Aquarius, um, welcome to your reading, your July reading 2022. Uh, for this reading, for July's reading, I'm going to be, uh, well I have pulled a card from you from the blind spot, so we'll be working with this deck. Um, it's pretty complicated to sort of, uh, sort of read, you know, off head. Off, off me head here about these cards a blind spot you know that's a blind spot about um sort of remember remember these are the things about ourselves a blind spot so it's stuff we don't see about ourselves stuff we don't realize about ourselves or maybe we do um it's just something that we do that can affect us in the long run it can it could even affect other people uh, so we don't realise the impact so that some, something we're doing that we're not really sort of conscious of doing. Um, we're doing it subconsciously, uh, maybe having an effect on us in the long run or on others. Um, I also like to say that if it hits a nerve and you feel triggered by the reading, uh, that then that could only mean that this reading has surfaced something in you otherwise you would have been unwilling to admit um and or or that you was consciously aware of as i've just said so um yeah so it can be pretty heavy um of course we have more than one blind spot i think all of us all humans you know so we're looking at the blind spot that um, maybe that you're not aware of this month. And I will be reading from the book. So first of all, I'd like to say that before I start the reading, that uh, it's not going to resonate with everybody, like with all Aquarians. So um, as I say, just pass me by if it's, it's not sort of hitting a note with you. And uh, for those that it does sort of resonate with, then stay around, stick around for the reading um, and see what we have. Okay, so let's start with this card, Aquarius. So we have um, your motives. I've just done Taurus and it was their motives. So it was somebody else's motives. But with you, it's all to do with your motives about something. So not being aware of your own true motives in this situation. And be honest with yourself and your intentions. Now these cards are called uh, sigils. These symbols actually are called sigils. And uh, different symbolism on, on them. I have wrote on these cards of course. Because I would never be able to remember all these symbols. Because there's 78 cards in the deck. Uh, all meaning something completely different of course. And uh, yours is... Uh, your motives. So I'm going to talk about your motives towards something here, um, Aquarius. And we're going to read from the book. I'm going to read a little bit of what this means in the book. And this is number four. So let's have a look. So your motives. If you have drawn this to go, you are not aware of your true motives in the situation at hand. In order to avoid the consequences of this blind spot, you are going to have to be brutally honest with yourself about your actual intentions, motives and desires. You are going to have to do this even if it makes you feel as though you may be a bad person. As people, as people life is torture for us to live if we have a poor self-concept. We have to see ourselves as good, but this means that for the sake of seeing ourselves a certain way and being seen a certain way, we are perfectly capable, capable of even fooling ourselves about our true and our actual motives, intentions and desires. For example, we might gossip and plot against someone simply because we are so envious or jealous of them. We might tell ourselves that we are marrying for love when in fact we are marrying for a person simply because of status or security. We may say, I'm not saying that all these things that I'm reading about is about 
you know, your specific situation. So we may say yes to something we don't want to do, but act as if we want to do it. So that we can get whatever reward we are after. We do this, sorry, we do this any time we have a means to an end attitude. We make, sorry, we may be acting to faced, which is always an indication that our true motive is being hidden. We may pay the bill simply because we want to force people at the table to be indebted to say it, to stay in allied, allied with us. As it is often the case when someone does something despite, di, sorry, if someone does something to displease us and we say, after everything I have done for you, the problem isn't the motive itself. The problem is we are fooling ourselves about it and fooling others about it. This makes it deceit. If we want to transcend this blind spot, we must be willing to feel shame. We must be willing to really admit to ourselves what our actual motives, what are our actual motives, intentions and desires. Even if it, <coughs> sorry, even if doing so makes us see ourselves as bad or wrong, Otherwise, we are leading ourselves and others straight down the path of suffering. Okay, so that's just a little something about that card. Now, what I do see here, what I uh, pulled with this card is the uh, death card, the size of that. <laughs> the death card and this one, very interesting. We have this card from the uh, Wisdom Oracle, which is um, Truth Be Told. I don't know if you can see the writing on there because this light is right underneath. But it says Truth Be Told. So I feel that you are, um, I mean, you are trying to express the, tr the truth in a situation here about something. It's about an, uh, an ending with the death card, some sort of transformation you've made in your life. So there's something you need to express here about an ending. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull a few decks, like a few cards on a few decks and see what, uh, what transpires here for you. So first of all, we're going to pull from the uh, Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. So we're going to pull a card on each of these cards. So we're going to look at your energy first, Aquarius. And remember, we are looking at the month of June. So as I say, this could be sort of like a, a more permanent blind spot or it could be a temporary blind spot. I like to think of them as temporary blind spots. Okay, so what do we have for Aquarius? Aquarius, thank you. Let's just cut the cards. Okay, so we have the lovers. We have the queen of coins. The king. The king of wands. And the seven of cups. Okay, so let me talk about this uh, before we go into the tarot. Let me just uh, give a few. Let's have a look. Let's just give a few notes that I've talked about this um, your motives card. So uh, this with the desk, a passion. So the, uh, the death card can also be a, a card of um, power. It's a very powerful card. So it can be a card of power to take back control of your life. Also meaning um, asking yourself, are you wielding power for the sake of it or to prove something to somebody else or to others? OK, so we can be looking at that card that way and then what to do and the advice we have the truth be told. So then we can we, what I feel here we could be saying is so you are advised to put a creative idea into reality. So something that you're doing 
uh, that's going to sort of transform your life in some way. And this is to do with a creative idea. OK, but also question your motives about something. So uh, just make sure whatever it is that you want to express uh, will enable you to make your life better. OK, so peaceful, positive and uh, some sort of transformation. Just make sure that whatever you're doing uh, doesn't sort of backfire in some way. So that sort of come through them sort of messages for that for that card as well with the uh, death card. OK, so this is interesting. I see. Uh, I do see that you have a choice here. You have a choice, you have a decision to make. It may be a little confusing, confused, yeah, confusing for you. It's also to do with uh, something that you're doing. I feel here with the uh, Seven of Cups here, there's, I think you, you're a little bit spoilt for choice. So you, you might have a few things on the go here, Aquarius, maybe a few things, a few options. It's, this is all to do with uh, sort of... Um, with the Queen of Pentacles, this is to do your security, your appearance. Um, this is sort of uh, self care, taking care of yourself and sort of looking after yourself financially in, in other ways as well. And then we have with the Death card, we have someone here. Uh, I'll show you the card. There we go. And you see me shuffle, you see me turn them over. So we have the King of Wands, Fire Sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. So we have the death here and ending here with maybe someone uh, in that element, the element of fire. So, uh, yeah, and then we see that, that we look at your options here with the uh, seven of cups. Uh, something uh, you need to... I think something that you need to choose, you need to pick... It's about making the right choice um, and uh, choosing the right option for you. But let's just see what else comes over for you. So now we're going to pull one here from the uh, Lenormand um, fortune. I was going to the fortune telling cards. So we're going to pull a couple of cards from here. And see what's going on for you Aquarius what do we have As, the, as I, um, I did mention, the lovers there being the first card out with that seven of cups. You could have your choice uh, if you're single. That is uh, your choice or you your sort of take your pick of um, potential people, suitors. Have a look, see where this is going. Right, so with the lovers, we have the gift, we have the key on top of the queen of coins, we have the sun on top of the uh, king of wands, so the sun. The ruler of uh, so it, the king of wands for me represents the sign of Leo and also the sun on top of that, which is uh, which rules Leo the sun. So very uh, strong Leo energy there with that death card with that ending. Yeah, and then we have this. Oh God, I don't know how you say this. I'm terrible. Skype, Skype, Skype. <laughs> you get used to me. <laughs> I never say. Anyway, we've called it the knife for now. <laughs> we've called it the knife. It's, you know, sharp, 
it cuts. It's very sudden, a sudden cut here. Um, it can be dangerous. Okay, so I feel that there's certain things that you need to cut out of your life here, at Aquarius. So whatever that is for you. So the, there is certain things you need to cut out of your life. Uh, be truthful, truth be told, be truthful with yourself about certain things, especially if it's uh, to do with any sort of relationships or uh, close connections. Uh, it's about knowing what's what and who's who with that seven of cups there. And then you have that um, Sith or Sky for whatever it is underneath it, that knife. <laughs> okay, so with the lovers, we have the gift, which is the uh, bouquet, the bouquet, bouquet of flowers. So you could have some sort of invitation coming in, some, some somewhere to go to. Someone's inviting you somewhere. It could lead to a uh, it could lead to a romantic connection for you, those of you that are single. And then let's have a look at the bottom of the decks. We'll do that in a minute because this is the underlying energy. Okay, so on top of the uh, Queen of Coins, you have the key. There we go. So the key. This is about solutions. So solutions to things that you're doing, finding solutions, um, unlocking. So this is about unlocking something. So something, uh, sort of uh, figuring something out. Or finding the answers. I'd say finding the answers for that card. So let's see what we have from the Kipper. See what we have. All right, let's cut the cards. Right from the tipper. Let's see who turns up. Oh. Getting repeating. Some of you could be dealing with the Taurus. Just, I'm just saying that because we're having repeating cards that uh, Taurus just had for their reading. Oh, I don't believe that's just come over. Okay. Right, so you're definitely receiving some sort of uh, message with the bouquet. So uh, you could literally be receiving flowers. But this is also some sort of invita invitation. But we also have this message, if we look at this card, this message of concern. If I just put that up there, you can see. Just see the expression on her face. So we have sort of some sort of message of concern going on here. Uh, to do with a connection right with this key we have so we, we mustn't take this literally by the way we you I've got the uh, bad health card here this can be somebody else somebody around you so uh Maybe you're receiving some sort of, because uh, she's holding a piece of paper. I know she's looking at probably his blood pressure and stuff like that. But it's somebody uh, in the bed having a checkup. So that could be just a general checkup. So just make uh, a note if it's if it's you yourself, Aquarius. Just make a note of uh, keeping appointments or something that you need to uh, go and, and be checked out for. Because I did say with that uh, Queen of Coins about self-care, if you remember just, just a few 
minutes ago. So this is about self-care. It's about uh, finding a solution to some sort of uh, problem. Okay, let's move on. So it's funny because the next card that come under the uh, King of Wands and the Sun card is the uh, imprisonment card let's turn over under that that section of cards so there's some sort of liberation here so there's an end to uh to some sort of uh this could be sort of self-imprisonment or sort of breaking breaking free from something Let's just have a look at this end one. So you have this card here, the Toil and Labour card. This is basically about hard work, about working really hard. Um, when I see that card with the uh, Bad Health card, it doesn't literally miss it, mean that you're really going to be in poor health, but it does make me feel that if you um, overextend yourself in some way, that uh, it could sort of put you really down on energy and sort of uh, burn you out quickly, you know. So just be aware of that overworking, um, doing more, because we have that seven of cups there. So you're doing things that obviously fulfil you emotionally, but also that could be... Um, Remember that you need to, because that Sith card there, it's about um, something very sudden. So maybe some sort of sudden uh, exhaustion or tiredness uh, coming over here because maybe you're taking on a little bit too much Aquarius. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Right, so now I'm just going to pull one from the... Uh, Wow, you have got the sort of same cards Taurus had. Right, I'm just going to pull one more. I want it to come a flag. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. Okay, Aquarius, don't be tempted to lower your standards. I feel that's to do with uh, a, a lot to do with uh, your future connections or relationship and maybe a future relationship. So make sure you keep your standards high. OK. Right. What else do we have? There's so many in this deck. There's, look, there's over 200 cards, so they're really difficult to shuffle. So what else do we have for Aquarius? Let's have a look. My Aquarians, what do we have? Mm -hmm. I'd just also like to mention, uh, you may be getting a message as well about somebody else, uh, somebody close to you, maybe... Uh, Maybe I'm, uh, I'm not feeling well in some way, so that could, we could look at that card in that way the, with the uh, health card. So maybe somebody else that you need to uh, attend to. Okay, we have the tree affairs with the family. Yes, yeah, so this is family connected. Okay, so it's someone in the family. This could be uh, ongoing, long term, because it's under the uh, it's under the health card, so the long term health. So someone's uh, maybe experienced a little bit of uh, bad health at the moment. Don't alarm anyone, but you know what comes over comes over, and we will see where that's going yeah pay attention to your health it's just fell out sorry guys so please do pay attention to your health okay 
Okay, let's have a look and see what else we have. And as I say, overwork, exhaustion, you know, it can uh, it can take its toll. It can take its toll on us, so uh, take try and take things a little more easy, you know. You probably got a thousand things to do, but just do one thing at a time. Let's have a look. What else do we have? I'm just going to pull one more card from the tea leaf. Let's see what we have on this card. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. Okay, so look at that's under the toil and labor, the sick card and the seven of cups, truth be told. And we also have the cane under the imprisonment card. Pay attention to your health. So uh, I'd say be cautious as well. I've just said this to Taurus. Um, so if, if you have a Taurian around you, um, or maybe listen as well to the... Uh, to the uh, Taurus reading, if you've got, you've probably got Taurus in your chart somewhere. So someone will try to make you do something against your will. Okay, so someone does this um, in this uh, scenario. Maybe this is some sort of uh, maybe some sort of blackmail or um, something to that effect. As I said right at the beginning, make sure that something doesn't backfire on you in some way. Okay, Aquarius. Mm. Okay, so the underlying energies we have. Let's just see what the underlying energies are. We have the hand in need of help, assistance and guidance. So some sort of assistance and guidance. We have the false person here. We have the queen of cups she is the key and then we have the mountain so this is somebody um something that's going to be hard it's something to do with your profit your money and your you know your wealth so something that's going to be hard to overcome uh just stay um with that queen of cups just stay compassionate and uh Calm. I'd say, you know, just stay calm about things. Uh, you will overcome them. You will overcome these obstacles because the mountain is about a, something, a big obstacle in the way. Okay, if we look at the bottom of uh, this deck, we have the false person. Someone's not who they appear to be. And then at the bottom of that deck, in need of help and assistance. So you may be getting some sort of help and assistance, maybe from this uh, Queen of Cups. So somebody here is um, on hand to give you some sort of advice or some sort of guidance. Aquarius, uh, we'd look out for this false person. They're not who you think they are. They're not who you, they appear who you think they appear to be. So I'd definitely keep your eyes out there for this person. Maybe it's the person that's uh, trying to convince you about doing something, okay, that you, you don't feel, um, that doesn't feel right. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Um, these are pretty deep readings, these blind spot readings. But um, as I said, you know, they really do sort of get to the heart of uh, something that's going on here. And it's usually with, with yourself, you know, something with yourself. And it, obviously other people impact us, on, uh, impact us in some way and have some sort of... Uh, uh, influence in some way sometimes over us so um, yeah just take on board what I said and uh, and that's what I have so I wish you the best of luck Aquarius um, 
just uh, just a month for the second sign I've just done. You know, the only I'm being I'm, I'm on your sign at the moment, so you're the second sign I've done. So um, of course, Taurus, what I've just done, you know, and yours. So it's looking like the month of July is just going to be a little bit. Um, a little bit difficult where maybe somebody else or other people are making things difficult for us um, in some way so probably another person is trying to make your life difficult uh, that's what I want to say here for you um, Aquarius okay so as I say again good luck and uh, I'll be back very soon with your August reading uh, not very soon, maybe in a week or so, I'll be back with your August reading. And um, a month, sorry, a month, not a week, a month. <laughs> oh, wake up, Jack, wake up. <laughs> if you like the video, as I say, please subscribe. Um, maybe hit that like button if it resonated in any way. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified for further readings that come on. And... Um, and I'll be back with a reading with you very soon, Aquarius. Take care. Bye.